We're going to reinstall our sheaves. Um, first thing I'm going to install is my uh, fixed primary. And I've cleaned these all five times with brake clean, so. On the spline. Secondary sheave. Sometimes the shaft will spin with your uh, sheaves, that's how you get the splines on. This, the splines made up pretty good. This splines made up pretty good to tight tolerance fit. Primary, this is real important. You need to hold that cam plate in. And actually, I'm gonna have to take the sleeve. Or the collar rather. And install that first. Make sure you have a cam plate bottomed out where your rolls are flop. Don't want to have any grease on these threads. And clean that up. And you'll see there's splines here. On the older gens, it was easy to get this washer, the spacer, messed, not aligned, and you'd screw everything up. It has to be centered. And you notice I don't have my belt on yet. That's a personal thing for me because Some people have installed a belt and not had their secondary spread. They go to tighten this, and it's not really tight. So I like to tighten this hand tight before putting a belt on. That way, um, you know you have that the center washer secure and you're not getting any false torque readings. Okay, so I've uh, installed my spreader bolt here. Spread my secondary, wash my hands. You can read the uh, writing. Once the belt's on, that was fun, by the way. So you remove your spreader screw. Once your spreader screws uh, out, you can. Uh, Turn your sheave and it, it'll close up.
to torque the um, to hold the primary sheave while you torque it in place. X2, X4 primary nut is 184 foot pounds. I'm going to assume this is the same since it uses the same nut. 84 foot pounds on the secondary nut. And there's a, I'll show you the holding tool for that when we do it. You can install your, your bearing support cage. Something to know with your bearing support cage, it has these dowels. I've reinstalled them in the housing, but the, um, I guess the four o'clock and the uh, 10 o'clock position have dowels. You want to make sure. Those dowels are didn't drop fall out. And install your bolts. Okay, so last and final step after you install the bearing support cage, turn the sheave. This should not bind up at all. It should be nice and smooth. If there's any res major resistance of binding, double check that your primary nut wasn't incorrectly installed. Make, make sure your bearing support cage wasn't installed cockeyed or skewed. This turns nice and smooth. I'm good with it.